Hi there Pisces, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me today on my channel, The Fool's Journey Tarot. You are watching a general love reading for the sign of Pisces for the second half of November 2020. So if you are a regular viewer, you probably know that I try to upload three readings for each sign every month. This month I've got some stuff going on um, with family at the end of the month, so I cannot upload videos. And I've decided to do two, and this one will be for the second half of November. Um, and hopefully I'll be back up and running with a normal schedule in December again. So I hope you all are doing well. I want to remind my viewers, of course, this is a general love reading, and that means it can apply to any kind of situation or circumstance and any type of relationships that you might be dealing with. It's also important to remain flexible with the energy. Don't be overly concerned about the gender of the cards. Um, you can mix and match the roles within the reading. And of course, that means you can be represented by any of the characters that might show up in the cards. You may feel like I'm reading for you. You might feel like you're cross-watching. Parts of the reading may resonate, while other parts may not. So take what does and leave behind the rest. I hope that you get something out of this reading that's beneficial to you in some way, shape, or form. I hope you feel it was worth your while and worth your time to view it. That is my intention, Pisces. So we'll get started here. I'm going to give this first deck one or two more shuffles. It is late afternoon. It's like 4.30ish, and of course it starts to get dark early, but we also have overcast rainy skies today, and so it's darker than normal. So I've got some... Um, a le table lamp here and the living room light on, casting some strange shadows in the room, but I think that it's still okay. This is my very last reading, and I've been struggling to get these readings out so I can post them all at the same time. And um, it's been challenging. I usually, for some reason, cannot do more than two or three, and this is my fourth reading of the day. And four readings for me is, is pretty tough. Aside from the fact that I'm not feeling that great, um, I've been getting um, some headaches and stuff, so I'm, I'm struggling a little bit health-wise, but I am going to get this reading done. I am bound and determined to do it, Pisces. So let's go for it. Let's see what we've got in the cards for Pisces. Here we go. I'm going to start with the Three of Wands with the page of wands the queen of cups in reverse strength in reverse the magician in reverse the sun in reverse Five of Cups. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. So here's, <laughs> this is kind of interesting. Here's what I've got so far. We'll see if I'm on the right track when I get the second set out. But I feel like something's, uh, something has transpired for you. Something's gone your way, Pisces. Uh, maybe something that you were anticipating or something that you've been planning for. But I feel like you've, you've received some news or you've gotten word that, that things are going as planned or things are going your way or something is about to transpire for you as you had hoped. But I feel this. there's grief surrounding um, whatever it is that you're anticipating. Like maybe you've changed your mind about it or you're not feeling as good about it now as you were before. Or maybe you're skeptical. There's just the sense that there might be some um, regret. Maybe you've changed your mind. Maybe you're not feeling you're not feeling it anymore. 
maybe whatever this is that's transpiring for you had taken some, has taken some time and um, during that time you've slowly but surely kind of changed your mind about things or are seeing things differently. Let's get some more cards out here and see what else we get for Pisces. Now we have the Three of Wands in reverse, clarifying the Three of Wands. There it is, you changed your mind. And the Four of Pentacles. Something that, I got this hair sitting on my sleeve here. And the string. Something that you were looking forward to, something that you were hoping for, now you've changed your mind about it and it's become a disappointment or you're hoping that it doesn't transpire or that it doesn't turn out the way you had originally hoped for or had originally hoped. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Strength in reverse again, clarifying strength in reverse. The Magician in the Upright, clarifying the Magician in Reverse. Fascinating. Now I just have to figure out what all these repeats mean. You have the Ace of Cups. The Tower. And the Three of Swords in Reverse. So I already showed you the Three of Wands and Three of Wands. Now we have the Magician and the Magician, once in Reverse and once in the Upright. And then we have Strength in the Reverse twice. And this Queen of Cups in Reverse, which I feel is your energy, uh, Pisces. And I want to remind you if, you, if you're resonating with this reading, but you don't feel like you're this Queen of Cups, um, you may end up showing up later in the reading. Or this could be somebody that you're dealing with. And if you're a male, you can insert, certainly embody this Queen of Cups energy. Queen of Cups is just someone who feels um, emotionally distraught over something. She could be disappointed. She could be feeling frustrated. She could be feeling victimized. She could be feeling um, sadness, depression. There's just the sense of emotional distress over something that is transpiring that maybe she doesn't want anymore or she doesn't feel confident about anymore or there's just this change of heart is what it is it's a change of heart I think she's invested a lot of time into this a lot of energy into this and I think she just changed her mind about it She doesn't want this anymore. It's coming to you, whatever this is, Pisces. Whatever you've been manifesting, and I feel like you this is something you've been working on, something you've been hopeful for. It could be in the form of a relationship with the Ace of Cups out here, but now you don't want it anymore. Had a change of heart. And this has brought the tower. So there this is something this is something big. It's something that um, maybe it's something that potentially could change your life or change the direction of the path you're on or you know, the tower is about change, and sometimes it's about unexpected change. But in this case, it feels like a change of heart. Not necessarily that you didn't expect what, to, which act, what is actually coming your way, because I do feel like you actually wanted this at some point in time. Let's get some more cards out on the table for Pisces and see what else we get. 
So we have the star in reverse. And the Ace of Cups is coming out again. Interesting because I've got the four of pentacles in reverse on the bottom of the deck and the ace of pentacles came out with the or the ace of cups came out with the four of pentacles. Lots of repeats, Pisces. I love when that happens. Sometimes I don't I can't figure out what they mean, but <laughs> I'm always amused when that happens. I find it fascinating. We have justice. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Chariot in reverse. King of Wands. The Ten of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. So we have a ten. We have a king of, of wands on the table. I think this is the person that's tied to whatever this is that's transpiring for you. I did feel like this ace of cups could potentially be a relationship or connection. So this king of wands is this person that this queen of cups is dealing with. The King of Wands is typically somebody who has leadership skills. This could be somebody who's in a position of power. This is somebody who makes decisions. Um, this is a team player. Somebody who's not afraid of a challenge. Um, he makes things happen. He's also someone people go to for guidance and support. This could be a boss or a father figure. Again, male or female can embody this kind of energy, but this is somebody who's in charge. But there is this, this connection or this relationship now is in question because again, I feel this change of heart and I'm not so sure um, that things are looking very hopeful with regard to this connection at this point in time. And I feel like the change of heart could be uh, this Queen of, of Cups energy. I'm not sure yet what's going on with this King of Wands. We'll get some more cards out here and see what's going on with him. But if, if there is, if, 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 there, if the intention is to bring about an ending right now, if something was about to transpire or if something was about to happen for these two, this change of heart now is bringing about an ending. Um, that feels very difficult, very challenging, very hard. But it feels, more, it feels more difficult for this Queen of Cups than it does for this King of Wands. I'm not feeling a lot of um, regret or disappointment coming from this person. I am from the Queen of Cups. This could be um, a family dynamic um, with the Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Some kind of disruption within a family dynamic or group dynamic. Ten of Pentacles in reverse can indicate divorce loss of legacy, disruption within a family unit, dividing up um, assets and money. And with justice coming out here, and this could be um, a legal situation for some of you, or as I indicated, maybe a divorce. Maybe this is a divorce that this Queen of Cups thought she wanted and now she's changed her mind. I suppose that's possible.
maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe this Queen of Cups has changed her mind with regard to a separation or divorce from this King of, of Wands. And now that things are kind of coming to a close or things are um, wrapping up, uh, maybe even a, in a legal sense, she's changed her mind. It could be that there is a new beginning on the horizon here. Maybe with this change of heart. Um, that's possible too. Let's get some more cards out here for Pisces and see what else we get. If this isn't a romantic connection, um, a divorce, that kind of thing, of course it doesn't have to be. This can be a connection between um, two people who are associated in any number of different ways. So this could be boss and employee, these could be family members, these could be colleagues, business partners, friends. Um, whatever the case may be. It doesn't have to be a marriage or a connection in that sense. Um, but there's definitely a connection where it feels like maybe there was a potential ending on the horizon or a split um, and then there's been a change of heart. So let's see what else we get here. We've got the lovers in reverse and then the four of wands. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Swords again, this time in the upright. The Devil in reverse. The Emperor in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse. And the King of Cups in reverse. I think this is actually a pretty simple message now that I'm looking at it. And I do I do I do think that's what what's going on here is I think that this Queen of Cups has had, had a change of heart. That she might be concerned now that she's messed things up. She might be concerned now that this King of Wands, King of Cups, has also had a change of heart. Maybe by going through this process, this king has decided that it's time to bring things to an end and maybe there is no turning back for this king. The King of Cups can be somebody who is no longer emotionally available or someone who's apathetic or someone who is emo emotionally withdrawn. This could be somebody who's been affected by the situation and um, emotions are no longer a factor for him. Um, maybe he's already worked through the hurt. Maybe he's already worked through the pain. Or this could also indicate that uh, the feelings are mutual, that both parties are disappointed with how things are going, how things are transpiring, and maybe there is a new beginning on the horizon. I actually see that this could go a number of different ways and obviously it'll be different for everybody any number of people watching so I don't necessarily see a conclusive outcome I think what I'm seeing most significantly in this set of cards is something was transpiring something's coming to a close um, something that spent that's taken a lot of time and energy and throughout this process there has been a change of heart at least on, on one side and possibly both and um, maybe both parties don't want this anymore. Both parties don't want this ending anymore. And that could change how things move forward. It could be that this King of Cups, King of Wands is bringing things to um, stopping movement or or bringing things to a halt so things don't go any further so they can change course somehow I get the feeling though that this Queen of Cups is the one who uh, made the decisions with regard to this connection 
I don't think this King of King of Wands um, was the one who was calling the shots. In other words, if this is a divorce situation, and I'm just using that as an example because that's what feels most um, obvious to me with this type of story. Um, I don't think that this King of Wands was the one who wanted the divorce in the first place. I don't think he was the one in charge when it came to making the decisions regarding this connection. He may not even be real sure about what this queen really wants. Maybe she hasn't communicated fully how she's feeling. She might be a little concerned about, well, now how do I approach this king and let him know that I've changed my mind? Let's get this last round out for Pisces. Let's see what else we get. The world in reverse. Queen of Swords in reverse. The Magician again in reverse. The Five of Cups again. Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Six of, of Swords. And the Ten of Wands. So I, I think this Queen of Swords in reverse is indicating that there hasn't been a lot of communication, if any at all, with regard to um, the change of heart that this Queen of Cups has had. At this point in time, if she pushed through with this, if she decided to, to continue to move forward with um, the ending, this ending with this relationship, um, she's doing it for all the wrong reasons. Um, she would be doing it because it's what she committed to in the first place. In other words, she's not going to express her, her change of heart. She's like, well, I've already committed to this ending. Um, I've already you know, paid my lawyer fees. I've already moved my furniture out of the house. I've already told all my family and friends that we're done. So now I have to go ahead and seal the deal. If she goes ahead and moves forward in that manner, there's going to be regret because of this change of heart. I don't think that this King of, of Wands knows. I have a strong feeling like he is just like, well, I, you know, this is out of my hands. I don't have any control in the situation. I have to give up this connection because um, that's what she wants. I don't have any say in this. I mean, if one party doesn't want it and the other party does, well, you know, the relationship is a no-go because you can't have a connection or relationship unless both parties want it, right? So I, I get the feeling like this king may have come to terms with things. I mean, he may have already worked through his feelings and maybe he is disconnected. Because the King of Cups and Queen of Cups are very different in energy. And, and the King of Cups is someone who is emotionally disconnected somebody who might be feeling like meh he's apathetic he's like well i don't really even care anymore whereas the queen of cups would be somebody who would be emotionally distraught somebody who might be feeling like um she's been you know a victim in the situation or um is is having a hard time dealing with her emotion emotions the king of cups has just turned his emotions off i don't think he wanted to i don't think this is what he wanted but I think it's something that maybe he felt like he had to do, given the circumstances. So this is an interesting reading, Pisces, and um, th this is definitely a two-person reading, and this is definitely a situation where if this isn't a marriage or an emotional uh, a, a relationship where you're emotionally invested in that way, an intimate connection, this is a connection that meant a lot or means a lot to one or both parties and the severing of the ties between these two is very difficult very challenging and very painful and this could be vice versa but i strongly believe and again so if you're if you're the male for example well whatever male or female if, if you are 
um, resonating with this reading and you think, okay, well, I'm the queen of cups because I'm the one that changed my mind. Male or female, it doesn't matter. You're the one now who's emotionally wounded because you've realized you've had a change of heart and you may have messed things up. You may have effed things up. <laughs> I said effed because I'm trying not to use the foul language. You may have messed things up or effed things up because you pushed through with this ending. This is what you wanted, but now you've had this change of heart. In the meantime, this King of Wands, King of Cups, male or female, um, has emotionally disengaged, has maybe accepted the ending, has um, decided to come to terms with things, and whether or not that can be reversed is in question. And I think that's um, what this Queen of Cups is dealing with. Can I reverse what I've done now? Because I don't want this anymore. Um, the key. I say this all the time, but it's the truth, Pisces. The key is communication. Now, I know there are certain cer situations and circumstances, especially if this is as emotional as it feels like it has been, where there is no communication or there is a resistance to communicate or maybe you can't at all. Maybe there's a um, court order. Maybe you have um, a situation where you're not legally supposed to speak to one another. What is that? Um, I can't think of the word. You know what I'm talking about. Where someone's not allowed to be around, around you. It'll pop into my head later on. Um, so there are those, there are, that damn bird, I'm sorry, the alarm went off in my son's room and she's squawking away, she's doing her thing. Anyway, um, the, 